Hey guys, Grass here. Just a guide of tips in regards to leveling up for seasons from level 1 to 70. Basically a fresh start. So the first thing you want to do is adventure mode. And from level 1 to 5 you want to be master. The reason being is because the first thing you want to do is grab the follower weapon, shield, um, bow, depending on what class you are. It's a big boost and it will allow you to level up in masters up to level 5 and then you want to be bringing it back down to hard. And probably throughout the whole, uh, whole time of leveling, uh, you'll probably be staying in hard difficulty. The next thing is, is um, you can do two things. You can either go through Halls of Agony and just keep farming the large density of mobs there. Or alternatively, you can do bounties. Now, Halls of Agony is a bit repetitive. You don't get as much mats and materials, which you will need at level 45, and I'll explain that later. Otherwise, you can do bounties, which is more rewarding in regards to having Rift Keystones, which you will need to do bounties and Rift Keystones at level 70. So it's kind of the grinding for now. So also just look for those little treasure chests on the top. It gives you extra blood shards on um, you know Act 1, Act 2, depending on the time. The next thing is is about uh, level 6. Look at the vendors in specific acts. There's a vendor that will sell jewelry. Um, if you are under gear, use the gold that you're getting to buy or upgrade some gear. Otherwise, if you're getting good RNG, just use whatever you have. But specifically at level 6, you are um, the, the rings are available and I believe level 7 the amulet is. In Act 1, this guy over here actually uh, allows you look for something with you know added damage or your primary stat as a ring a and that's going to boost up your uh, dps f um, at your lower levels so at level 15 uh, sockets is available whether it is on um, any form of gear but particularly you're looking for a socket on weapons uh, more particularly on helm and um, the reason why on Helm it's extremely important is because if you get a ruby gem, so the red one, it gives you experience or more experience. So the more experience, the more um, chance of leveling up much quicker. So guys, a good way of leveling up is in a group. Uh, you can go in communities and ask people because of the strength in numbers experience. Another thing is, is just make sure that you do have the follower equipped and the skills. I know that's a no-brainer, but just make sure that you do throughout the whole course. At level 20, you have all the skills available for the follower, depending on which one you use. Uh, the next thing is, as I said, with soccer weapons, just be vigilant. You don't want to pull... Um, uh, you know, the green emerald um, gems. You want to be putting the red ones that give you a, a plus damage to them. It increases your damage, as I said before. Uh, if you want to get rid of the, the weapon, just uh, break it down and you do get the gem back. That's with any item or loot that actually drops on the floor. Any item that you buy from the, the vendor or the merchandisers, that's not going to happen. So you would have to still go to the jeweler. Another thing is, is make sure that you do upgrade the blacksmith and the enchantress um, just because uh, you will need to do this bit of uh, RNG roll. What you're looking for is at level 45, you can roll, um, you know, reduce experience um, skill uh, or secondary afflicts on your weapon. You All you have to do is just show all. You can see over here. Make sure it is a two-handed weapon because the damage is higher. The best stats that you're looking for, obviously, is the secondary stat that reduces a level 60 item or a level 70 item to a 60 or vice versa, a uh, 60 item to a 45 item. And what that does is it allows you to have a, 60, a level 60 item. So here's an example of it. This is probably the stats you're actually looking for on a particular weapon. In this case, this has an actual socket so I can boost the damage on it. It also has um, a chance to hit. That is extremely important. It means when I'm re-rolling the experience, uh, monster kill experience, I only have three possibilities and in the first roll I got um, reduced level 17 so I've got a level 60 item that is now a level uh, 43 item so you can do this at level 45 and 60. Now the last novelty one is if you go through um, story mode if you kill skeleton 
King the first time. You can get the um, Broken Crown um, as a, a guaranteed drop um, by level 65, I believe. Make sure that you get it at 61 if you're willing to do adventure mode. So if you like the guide, give us a thumbs up. Thanks, guys, for watching.